Okay, welcome to the tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to play Sam Smith's new song titled Pray. It's going to sound something like this. Uh, it does that part. You know it does it. So it's four counts on all these chord progressions here. I'll show it to you. Just giving you an idea of how it sounds. One, two, two, three, four. And then it'll go into the verse. And then the chorus sounds something like this, so. But instead of doing that, I'm going to actually show you that cool part that does. That, that little lick. Um, so let's dive into it. So as you are learning this, you need to have um, a total of four parts in your head. So the verse has two different chord progressions. Well, rather it has two different melody lines. And so that means the right hand is gonna be doing the uh, different um, uh, notes following Sam Smith's voice. The left hand is nice because it uh, keeps the same chord progression throughout the song. So two different parts in the verse where the right hand has to memorize things. Then in the chorus, which is praying, that melody line changes. So that's a third part you're gonna to have to memorize. And then um, the bridge. Uh, which kind of has those little clapping parts. So four things you need to memorize. Um, before we start memorizing these four melody lines in the right hand, let's see what the left hand is doing. The left hand is doing an E minor chord. We're in the key of G, by the way. So Okay, so we can't hit F because it's sharp in G. So there's four chords and they repeat over and over. And then we'll jump into the four parts over here, okay? So four chords, E minor, Left hand then is going to go to a G chord by moving our lowest note down here. So that's just a G inversion. And then you're going to go to an A minor chord by moving each of these white notes up a white note. So the bottom note moves a white note, middle move, top, and move. So you have an A minor there. And then... Your middle note here for the last chord is gonna to go to a C. So very slowly, you should get this down before you start memorizing those four parts in the right hand, the, the melody line. So you have one, two, three, four. And bottom note shift down to three. Everyone shifts up and one, two, three, four. And middle note here, one, two. This is a C chord, three four and then into the verse do, 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 do. so now that you have the left hand chords down let's talk about the intro so the intro does an a minor chord six times so you're just gonna have to memorize this little uh beginning part so it goes one two three four five six uh and then boom two three four so what's happening here in the left hand you want to uh, i'm sorry um in this intro here, you want to make your chord sound full. When we're actually playing the song, your left hand's going to jump up here and just play these basic chords here. But for the intro, what we're going to do is we're going to take those same chords and play them a little bit more full. So all that's happening is your right hand is going to come down here. Your left hand is going to do an E and a B. It's basically like your right hand here, except no middle note. Okay, so you have your E minor here. And then if you're good with your chords, you should know that your G chord is just going to shift down. And you can hit an octave here. Let me make sure my camera is getting that. Cool. So the camera is getting that G chord and then an A minor chord. So everything in the right hand shifts up. Left hand go to an A octave. And then for the C chord, play it like this. Left hand hits a single note C. Right hand hits a G and a C. Okay, the reason why you're playing this is because you want to transition into a little bit less of a rich sound because then we're going to jump into this kind of sound. So it's kind of a little bit less full. So you want to go from full, nice and full, nice and full, and then give a transition chord, which is still a C chord, but it's kind of less full, and then into like that. So let me uh, show you the right hand melody line here uh, for the verse. 
Let me play through it one time and then I'll break it down. Okay, so that's the first verse that you need to memorize in the right hand. So in the right hand here on this E chord, I wonder why my mic sounds like that. Sorry about that. Hopefully it's going to sound okay once I export this video. So the right hand on the E minor chord, so you're going, okay, we're mimicking Sam Smith's right hand, uh, I'm sorry, his voice with our right hand. So we go. So the left hand here. Okay, a little bit slower to show you how everything's lining up nicely. Then we're going to switch our chord. Remember in our left hand, we go to the G chord by moving this. The right hand's going to do the same thing again, except it's going to do... And then it does a switch up. Do, 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 do. So, do... So from the top of this. To a G chord. Okay, so hopefully you have that down. Those are the first two chords. So memorize that and then move on into this. What's nice about this melody line here on the A minor is that it's moving from bottom to top. So you have a D chord, and then when you hit your E chord and your uh, E note in your right hand, that's when you come in with this chord here. So do, 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 do. Okay, so it's gonna go do, 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 and then again. So it does it twice there on the A minor. And then your last chord here is a C chord. So the middle note, remember, goes here. And when the middle note goes there, you're gonna go to this position here, these five notes. So it's gonna be a G and then a D and all the white notes in between. You're gonna start up top for this melody line. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. So on the C chord there, So this first part all together slowly is going to sound like this. Okay, so that's verse number one. Let's move on to verse number two. It's very similar to verse number one. It just has a small switch up. So let me play through verse number two here, what you're going to memorize in the right hand, and then I'll break it down. So it starts like this. To the chorus there. So verse number two here, what's nice is that um, the first two chords, the melody line is the same here. So for the E minor, do, 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 same exact thing. Do, 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 do. G chord, same thing. Do, 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 do. And then for this A minor chord here, instead of going, instead of doing that, what you're going to do is you're going to still do that. Do, 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 do. That's pretty easy. You know how to do that. And then for the C chord, the last chord here, this is new. You're going to jump up to an E, a D, a B. So you skip middle the, this C right here. You go to B. And then you're going to have these five notes here. So E, D, B, A, G. This is when you move to the C chord. So slowly. Da, da. 
So let me play verse number two here for you with that switch up a little bit slower so you can get it. And then I'll play both verses together and jump into the chorus and then we can learn that fun part. By the way, uh, before I play that for you, um, if you struggle with your hands kind of kind of keeping time in here and then doing uh, some of these melody lines that we're doing, um, check out a, uh, a program I have called titled Rhythm Techniques for You. It'll be up on the right hand side of your screen up here on the little eye. Check that program out along with the other programs that I have to help you improve your piano playing skills. Um, I taught myself how to play chord piano um, through church and I know how challenging it can be. So if you're learning that um, and you're stuck and want to learn how to improve quickly, I have all the tips and tricks up there. So go check out my courses, especially the rhythm techniques for you. I'll have it linked up there in the little eye. So let me play through this verse. Um, and then we got to get moving because I don't want this to be a crazy long tutorial. Here we go. So from verse one, and then we'll hop into verse two. Here we go. So we're coming out of this intro. And then here, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Verse one. Two. Okay, that's what I've taught you so far. We have two more sections to go through. Um, they'll be a little bit less involved, uh, hopefully except for this part. Okay, so um, coming out of that second verse, he goes, Maybe I'll pray to do, 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 do. And so what I wanted to do is I also wanted to, to include that little... That little lick that you hear on the piano. And so what I've decided to do is I've decided to to mix in the melody line. So do, 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 do. And then stop it. And, and add in that lick. And so the first part, so maybe I'll, so three notes here, one, two, three, do, 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 Okay, the whole goal of this is to sound good when you're playing. And I think people will know the song and then they'll hear that little lick when you're playing it and they're gonna be like, uh, hell yeah, that sounds good. So maybe i'll left hand's doing the same chord throughout this whole thing right hand's gonna do this do, 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 do. so starts on a d e g a b so one two do, 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 and then do, 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 do. so now that you have this maybe i'll pray let me teach you this lick. What this lick is doing is there's five notes involved here. Remember, since we're in the key of G, we're not hitting F. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take third intervals. So you have this here. So it's a three finger, middle finger and pinky. And then walk it down. So it's kind of like that Rugrats theme song. <laughs> Hopefully you've made it this far into the tutorial so you could calm it down in the comments and say Rugrats and people that uh, click on the video won't know what the hell um, they're we're talking about when you comment on that you know how you watch a video and then go straight to the comments just type in Rugrats and let's see how many thumbs up we can get on that maybe I'll I'll um, <laughs> comment that and you guys can thumbs it up so this whole idea of the Rugrats theme song is to have third intervals well same thing with this little little lick here so what we're doing is we're doing a third interval with G and B and then the next one's F sharp and A and notice my fingering, three and five, three, five, two, four, and then one, three. So one, two, three, practice that, da, da, da. Just practice that. You gotta break piano into pieces, break it into chunks, master one thing, and then move on to the next thing. So if this is difficult for you, just go one, two, three, over and over, da, da, da. After you've mastered that, then what you're gonna do is take your two and your four finger, and hit an F sharp and a B flat. That sounds weird, right? 
Well, if you do this little grace note coming from here to the G, look at that. So you have that. So it'll go. Maybe I'll pray. Da, 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 da. Maybe I'll pray. Do, 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 do. So um, hopefully that gave you an idea of how to do this first little part here. So let me play it one more time really slowly and then I'll teach you the rest. Maybe I'll pray. Maybe I'll pray. So on the G chord, what end up ends up happening here is we go do 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 do. So it's these five notes, and then you have four notes up here. So as you're walking up, put your thumb on D, E, A, G, right? So that's the second melody line that you're doing. Do 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 do, and then. Um, then he goes to this part. So when we go to the A minor. So he goes these four notes here. So ba, 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 da. Okay, and then for the C chord, he goes five notes instead of four. He uses all of these. So before I show you that little part, let's go all the way through the chorus. That way you have it down. I'll play it slowly for you. Hopefully this has been a good tutorial for you guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you appreciate the thoroughness. Um, sometimes those Synthesia dropping note tutorials are hard to follow. Um, and hopefully I'm not too annoying to listen to, especially since I'm coming off of a cold. I, my voice probably sounds weird as hell right now if you're used to my other voice, I guess. But uh, let's play through this chorus. Um, from the top, I'll go through it slowly. So maybe section here so it's just an E minor chord broken up and you better believe we're moving now to a G chord so our right hand and left hand are doing the same thing all the way until the last chord here and you're going from top to bottom A minor one two, 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 two. and then to the C chord left hand is going to change its middle note and right hand is going to go to this inversion of C so if you're confused about inversions and what the hell's going on with that, um, go to my website and download the basics. I have that for free. That'll help you out with kind of these foundational ideas. So on the C chord here, you go up to an E, a C, and a G. Left hand does the same old C chord we've been doing through the whole song. And then um, it goes back into verse 1 and verse 2 again. So, and then after that, it'll go into the chorus. You repeat the chorus twice, which I've shown you, and then it goes into a bridge part, which I knew I was gonna forget, so I left it right here so that I could listen to it and remind myself of how it sounds. I'll teach it to you, and then we'll be done. Okay, so this is the chorus. Here we go with the claps are coming right now. Okay, so. Da -da -da -dum. So. Okay, so uh, that part, um, do, 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 um, do, do, do. so the chords are going to stay the same. Left hand is going to drop down into kind of the octave. So sorry, A minor. Do, two, two, do, and uh, C, two, and three. Four, repeat one, two. So that's what the left hand is doing. The right hand is doing. Do, 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 do. So notice my fingering. Five, four, two. 
So I want you to do E, D, E, B, as in boy. So we have do, 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 do. And then the second time you do it twice on these top notes. Do, 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 do. So on the E minor, it would sound like this. Hit the left hand first and then the right hand starts that melody line. Same thing on the G, the right hand does the same thing. And then for the A minor, you're gonna hit this and then the right hand, I just want you to hit a G and a C. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit your right hand repetitively, so it's gonna sound like this. You should be counting in your head. So one, two, three, four. And last chord would be the C. And then the right hand stays right where it's at. Two, three, four, and so when you're counting, doing these last two chords, so you have the A minor, one, two, three, four, these last two chords, what I want you to do is I want you to, on these repeated notes, work your way down. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back to the top. So let me play through that whole section with how it's going to sound. I'm going to add in my thumb here. You can if you'd like, but uh, just stick to what I showed you if you're a little bit more of a novice beginner. Um, a novice beginner, that's repetitive. Anyhow, if you're intermediate, you can kind of follow maybe what I'm going to do here. So that's the bridge part, and then it goes into a soft chorus. So maybe a bridge, and then. I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you. If you've made it all the way to the end, congratulations. Go thumbs up that Rugrats comment so that everyone will be confused when they first come on this video. Um, I will catch you next time. Make sure to subscribe, guys, and go check out those programs if you want to learn how to play kind of how I was playing at the end here with some rhythms. Um, the program works. I will catch you guys next time. Okay, you made it to the end. One in every four of my viewers clicks right there to learn how to play like me. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. You can click on my beautiful face right there if you'd like. And... Your next video is right here.